In this video, I will explain my solution to this problem, which asks us to break Diffie Hellman key exchange when the parameters are backdoored. So let's read this problem together. We have two participants, Alice and Bob. They are using the DH key exchange or key agreement algorithm in a finite cyclic group. They generate an AES 256 bit key as follows. They use the SHA function, which is basically SHA 256 in this case. The input argument to the SHA function is the key that was derived using DH algorithm. The KAB is the, the common secret Alice and Bob will arrive at when they properly use the, the DH key exchange algorithm. All right. Eve works for a spy agency, and she wants to eavesdrop on the conversation between Alice and Bob. Uh, since the discrete logarithm problem is known to be computationally hard to solve, Eve came up with a smart idea to backdoor the public primes P as well as the group generator G. So somehow Eve convinced both Alice and Bob to use her P and G, and they both trusted her. Alice and Bob didn't know the fact that G was actually generating only a small subset of possible key values. So Eve ended up wiretapping all the ciphertexts that were exchanged between Alice and Bob. Of course, Eve doesn't know the AES key that was exchanged between Alice and Bob using the DH key exchange algorithm. DH stands for Debian and Hellman key exchange algorithm. Okay, we are given one more piece of information here. We have to assume that Eve knows a, a bit about the plain text. Um, in this case, Eve knows a substring called everything without quotes as part of the unknown plain text. Okay, so the problem has two parts. The part A, the part A is asking us to develop an algorithm that will correctly guess the AES key using the five inputs P, which is public prime, G, again public generator the IV, which is possibly used for AES encryption, decryption, and then the ciphertext that was exchanged between Alice and Bob using the AES key, and the pattern, which is everything. So our algorithm must be detailed enough to implement. And um, the second part of the problem is actually asking us to demonstrate the algorithm will indeed find the key. So we are given this prime, which is, large prime as we can see and um, we are also given the generator which is supposed to generate the cyclic group gp star zp star sorry um, the iv is also given to us and the challenge ciphertext is also given to us and lastly we are also we also given a known plain text pattern everything we have been asked to come up with an algorithm and a program that will basically decrypt this ciphertext. This is a key exchange algorithm based on the Hellman. He knows what P and the G are because C actually backdoored that and gave it to both Alice and Bob. He also knows she has to look for the word everything. If her guess of the AES key is correct, when she decrypts it, she will look for the word everything. Otherwise, very likely, Decryption will not have this nice word, everything. Okay, so one key point that's hidden here is that Alice and Bob didn't know the fact that G was already generating a small subset of VP star. Okay, what it means is that E will be able to somehow brute force all possible AES keys from her choice of G. So that's the key. So the problem also gave us some extra data here. To help you solve this problem, you may find it useful to leverage our resource. So here's the link. Let's see what's there. Ah, it's Java code. So we have input function, which takes plain text key and IV. It's kind of useless for, other, for us at this point because we don't know the key. And similarly, there's a decrypt function. We have ciphertext key. We don't know the key. We have the ID. Okay, it's also useless at this point. And then we have some basic utilities like converting a string to byte array, 
converting um, an integer, big integer to byte array. Um, we have some utilities, in this case, SHA-256. We compute SHA-256 using uh, Java's message digest class. It takes the integer as the input and generate a SHA-256 for that. Okay, finally, we are here, the core of the problem. We need to break using P, G, I, V, ciphertext and pattern as inputs. And we need to come up with this particular method. All right, let's see the main method. The main method has the prime P, which Eve constructed and convinced both Alice and Bob to use, and the, the G value. It is the IV both Alice and Bob um, agreed to use for that particular session, for that particular message rather. They are not going to repeat using this, the same key and IV. There will be a different vulnerability. And uh, there is a cipher text that we need to break. And here is the pattern we should be looking for when we successfully break it. All right. So. Everything is packaged for us. All we need to do is come up with the body for the breaker method. Okay. So let's get back to the problem again and read it carefully, some of the key components. So the key exchange algorithm is DH key exchange algorithm. The group is ZP star. The key itself is derived using SHA-256 after running the DH algorithm, okay. The DH algorithm will end up with a common key and that usually should not be used directly. So we run it through SHA-256 to destroy any mathematical structure um, as much as we can. And then we need to come up with a way to find out what is this potential key could be, otherwise, it's impossible for us to reverse the SHA function. Um, it's not possible. We don't even know the output of the SHA function. We don't even know the input of the SHA function in our case. So, so breaking the SHA-256 is not the scope of this presentation, and, and that's not the right approach necessarily for this simple problem. Okay, all right. Um, one thing that we can try is the fact that the G was arguably generating only a small subset of ZP star. We don't really know what small means exactly, but uh, one guess we may assume or we may try is G is probably not going to generate um, a large subset of ZP star. Otherwise, even E wouldn't be able to break it. So maybe E was just generating a small subset of uh, ZP star that she could brute force essentially. So, so we can come up with a simple algorithm. Start with the G we are given. We try all possible exponents of G, G power one, G power two, Z power three, and so on, until um, we find the right match. Meaning, let's assume the current guess of G power i is, is correct. What it means? Well, we compute. SHA-256 of our guess, which will give us the potential AES key. We decrypt the ciphertext and we look for the word everything in it. If it is there, then we know our guess is correct. If it is not, we discard and continue generating more elements of ZP star until we get a hit. That's the core idea of the algorithm. Okay, so what I have done, I wrote the uh, implementation, and I will show you how we can break this. All right, so I basically used the online Java compiler, which is freely available, and there is nothing sensitive for me here. So we can copy and paste here and run it. Of course, we need to fill up the blanks here. Your task is to construct this method. So I'm going to um, paste my implementation of this method over here. Okay, so let's walk through this code before I run it. So we take the P, G, I, V, ciphertext and pattern as input. And we start with the particular value I, which is 
initialized to one. So inside the loop, we repeatedly call the SHA-256 algorithm. As you can see here, the input to that algorithm is G power I, and we start with I being one, and then we compute a potential AES key in a byte array, and then we call our decrypt function, AES service that we, we, were been, uh, we have been given. Uh, so we can use the, the decrypt function here and then see whether the decrypt function, when it decrypts using the given key, it will give us some plain text. If the plain text contains the if the plain text contains the pattern that we are looking for, then we know we got it. Otherwise, we continue until we eventually hit the plain text, essentially the plain text pattern. Okay, All right. So let's run this. Hopefully, it will give us the yep. As you can see, it found the plain text. Everything has beauty, but not everyone can see. All right, so how come this, this was successful? Eve was the one who generated this P and the G. She placed some mathematical structure, which I'm not going to dive into now, inside uh, G in particular. So G was actually not generating the entire cyclic group. It was only generating a subset of the cyclic group. and uh, the order of the cyclic group was so small that you could just essentially capture the traffic and run a simple brute force, uh, as we have seen here, to obtain the AES key and then eventually decrypt it successfully. Okay, so now some of the terminology that I have used, like cyclic group and all the DH key exchange uh, terminology, may not be familiar to you. If that's the case, of course, there are a lot of interesting materials online, including Wikipedia's. You may you may go there and look look for that. You may also uh, look into my slideshare.net slash dganesh11. Um, I placed an introductory overview material. Uh, this was prepared for middle school students in in my town. Um, so it starts extremely basic, like how to compute the exchange secrets using map. And I explain uh, the, the key exchange idea. Um, what is the meaning of a group? What is the meaning of generator? Everything is sort of explained without using those terminology explicitly. Hopefully that will help you to catch up with what I explained. That's all. Thank you very much.